video of Plum's dog show is awesome! Just think, guys. If we like their dancing, and everyone at the dog show liked their dancing, people on the Berry web are gonna love their dancing. You want to post the video on your Berry Best Bits page? If it's okay with you, Plum. But... The music on this video is kind of hard to hear. Especially with all the barking. That's okay. I'll just use some other music instead. You can't use just any music. It has to match the dancing. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> hmm. We love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <sighs> oh, why is this so hard? Hi, Cherry. Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except. No, it's horrible. I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Baravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure. I can't come up with anything. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No, no, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I've got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Very Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to! you on the Berry Web Apple, you can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Oh, super perfect. I'm gonna post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the Queen. Oh, yeah. The Queen. <sighs> oh, great Queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sard... Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just, this is for the queen of Baravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! You gotta see this. 
You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a perizillion hits and rising. What is that song? Catchy, right? You're not kidding. It's super danceable. I've got to admit, that beat is awfully irresistible. I could listen to it all day long. What happened to our party? I can't wrap my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah. The song for the queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry! Cherry! You aren't gonna believe this. Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Berry Bitty City Top Pop Songs. Quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think up a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait, I can hear it right now. I've created a musical monster. Cherry, wait. And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Barry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Berry Bitty City with a big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Berry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh, sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, floor. Cherry Jam, move your body to is this the hip way to move to your groove? If you won't dance lessons, go see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. You saw it here first, pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live, or my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web. Nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Oh, uh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh, 
no, my dear. You see, we've got work to do. There's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you... Then I'll destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her... Oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Very Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Very Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, uh, tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance puppy dance craze? The Cool Dude is here to tell you, dance puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And Cool Dude says anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> <laughs> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> However did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. There you go, folks. You heard it from Mavis herself. That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Oh! Hey, and harmony, Cherry Jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam, but I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine then, enjoy the song, cause it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never gonna write music again. What? <gasps> what? I can't believe the cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange. But it's just 
So catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. <laughs> but friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. <laughs> How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We, we promise. promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again! Yeah! <laughs> playing anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, American Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. American Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barricade Bloom. <laughs> well, uh, imagine that. <laughs> However, did the, uh, that thing get in there? <laughs> no, no, no! You gotta get that Mary! better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Uh, hi -ya! Uh, we did it! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really did. Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Don't be boom box. Don't any of these switches work? Who made this thing? The Queen of Berryvania? The Queen of Berryvania! Your Majesty, what an honor to receive you at my humble tour of us. To whatever do I owe this uh, honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that. The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have? And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, 
This one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? <laughs> Everyone, please let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad seals down to the official royal song. <laughs> Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you! <laughs> Thank you. Hi! <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... <laughs> I did. Yeah, 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 but. Bless you! Thank you. <laughs> Quick! Turn him around! Yeah! <laughs> Now, how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation. Which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Bitty City myself, but but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. Uh, uh, here, J.D. Bug, uh, let me help you. No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. Oh, poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but... 
Well, all the way to Acorn Acres. This is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do you promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Berry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeannie Bug. Ah! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 No! Oh! <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice... Don't drop this package! Oh! Oh! Here's a... Sorry! Doesn't live here anymore! <sighs> I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you! Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's gotta go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon, 
I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry. Please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... No! Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard? So I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry! Strawberry, come back! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Berry Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, 
What can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing, too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> We've lost our picnic! <laughs> what? <laughs> it grew away from us. <laughs> grew... Uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please. Please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there. And we're down here. And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on. We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way. You're going to help us? Of course. But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you. Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine? Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that! <laughs> Uh, I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah. Don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you. But I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right. It's his birthday. Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. 
And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, <laughs> we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. <laughs> What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Berry Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> That's me. This is for you and happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, sweet sour, that was a fantastic adventure story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep dark forest. No such place. Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Huh, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth. <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> My fellow con 
contestants were already mounted on their steeds, I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Gutter Snipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough she's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> The sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> Ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnibbles! Pure g... Uh, just really smart! Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe! there. 
Applying my knowledge of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. Or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. It looked like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. Shortcut. So I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, tea time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, apple dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling. A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. 
So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. Hey, you can't do that. It's not fair. Fair schmear. See if I care. <laughs> she did it. Wait, look. Hold on, tea time. Ridiculous. May I continue? Oh, oh yes, yes, please! Yes, please. 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 <laughs> Morning or noonin or afternoonin. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumpling, and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. Hey, why, that's, that's stealing! Stealing, schmealing, after that peeling! Hey, that's stealing too! That's right! One bad turn deserves another! Was on to the final leg of the race. Win! <laughs> win! Win! Oh, 
Wait a minute! Only one of us can win! What are you saying? I'm saying there's only room in this boat for one of us! And that one is me! Nibbles, Guava Gutter Snipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you... Say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you first prize. What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Wait. You mean that story you told? really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our camp out tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. But as it stands now, I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No. But, um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great! Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. Strawberry shortcake. She's a berry bitty girl with very big possibilities. And fruit-filled fun is the secret to her recipe. She may be small, the task is too tall. She'll be a best friend, just give her a call. She's a berry bitty girl with big possibilities. She may be small, but no task. Oh, 
pardon me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Bug. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. <laughs> May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm going to have to tell them they can't. Why not? My, um, guest room. It's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing. Somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah. Like little travel or, uh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and bitty hand soaps inside. Wow. That would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, Hi. 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 You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. Is not. Yeah, huh? Is so. What? No straws? 
straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> a straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh... Great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, oh, boy! You must be having a great time! Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. Huh? Better in you. Nuh uh. Uh huh. Uh, girls, I really need. 
need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh, how do you turn this thing on? We are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. Give me that. Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. La <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with me? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh... I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and... and... those twins. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. 
I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey, I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by, by, why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. As long as we're together, things will always turn around. A city girl. to take our chance In the end it's always worth it So make your move and do your dance You might get lost but it's okay When you've got 
was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. <gasps> the troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you! I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? 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 Help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, I will find my own way. Uh, well, and what do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. <laughs> We're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the little asparagus told the princess next time. Yeah! Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct. And I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea. I'll loan her my big book of berry can berry fairy tales. Huh? This is great. What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berrykin kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect. Thanks, girls. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Plum. Thank you, Orange. <laughs> oh. <gasps> well, hello there, Plum. <gasps> Oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine. I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash Stage Play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better! I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Very Big City! I thought you were just putting something together for the Berry King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage? Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this... This... 
This will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls, and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't. I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Mirror, tell mirror, me my Barry command. Ferris, tell me who is land. Barry Ferris in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. Uh, <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the part. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. <laughs> inspired, Barry Kinvani. Simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, rob lolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Ah! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Time just flies when I'm in my zone. Uh, good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People, people, all right. That's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh? No! It should be somewhat sweeter. Sweeter? Oh, well, how did Plum say she wanted it for the play? Hmm? There they are, our stars. Hey, congrats. Congratulations. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank very you. much. I'm so excited she picked me to play Snowberry. I can't believe I actually got the role, the part. But uh, I'm a little kind of uh, nervous. Well, Raspberry, you're gonna be fabulous. <laughs> I just know it. And I'm so excited to be the Berry Mean Queen, but I'm a little nervous too. I just hope I can do it the way Plum wants it. It is I, the Berry Mean Queen. <laughs> well, it's just supposed to be a fun show for the Berrykin kids. They'll love it no matter what. I don't know. Plum's putting a lot of pressure on us. The Berry Mean Queen is who I am. It is I who am the Berry Mean Queen. That's me, Berry Mean Queen. I guess Plum really does want this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production. But how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh, oh, oh. oh Snowberry. We're the Seven Berrykins. Plum, huh? your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five and memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act Two. Uh, I don't remember a tidal wave in Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will! That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production. Uh... I'm just wondering, why does our play have to be better... And bigger! 
That too. Then very big cities. Do you want us to be the laughing stock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Very bitty city makes very big boo boo. People pull plug on plum. With me, please. I said the seven berry kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying berry kids? I guess another thing only our snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. Somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> Very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? Aw, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty, and in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I, which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yay, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the Berry Mean Queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Mean Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Plume? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Berry Kim Bloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berry Kins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um. <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Plum, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land. Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, deary me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods. The terrible, wearable woods. Alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. <laughs> huh? Oh, fearsome creatures. Oh, wild animals. Are you there? Somewhere? Oh, well. I can't see you any wild animals at the moment, but I sure know they're here because I can just feel they are near. I can kind of, you know, sense them. Oh, I must hide from the wild animals. Gasp! Why, here is one now! Hmm. <laughs> A 
possum? I mean, a wolf? I mean, what are you supposed to Cut. be? Cut! Raspberry, it's a ferocious tiger! Oh, right. Well, I forgot. Without the tiger costume, I guess, you know, I couldn't tell. And the line before that, that's not in the script. Well, it just didn't feel real to my character to say there were wild animals when there wasn't. Uh, I couldn't see them. I understand. Ta-da! Huh? <laughs> we finished painting the cottage backdrop, you wanted, Plum? Great. Let's see it. What am I looking at? The, the Seven, Seven Barricans Cottage. Well, it looks like two different buildings stuck together. Well, I was thinking they would live in this kind of house. And I really feel this is the sort of home that I, I, I mean, <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh. Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> huh? <laughs> this is not how a cast behaves! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blonde's <laughs> puppy, Soria. <sighs> oh. uh. I'm, uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea to sit right there. Ah, uh, yes. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I am the very mean queen. Very fairest in all the land. What? What's that you say? I am not the very fairest in all the land? Who? Whom do you speak of? Snowberry? <gasps> Curses! Who goes there? Who dares? Uh, it's Strawberry and Cherry. We were wondering if you're coming to book club. No, I'm nervous. Raspberry didn't have time to sew all the costumes because she was too busy learning her lines. If the tidal wave isn't big enough, the puppies don't look scary enough. Hmm? Oh, Bitterberries, they're ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a queen with a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is very fairest in all the land. Great effects, Plum. My queen, you are the berry... Um, uh, oh. uh, yeah, the berry fairest in all the land. Ah, the mirror never lies. And all was well for the queen. Until one day... Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is berry fairest in all the land? Well, the gist of it is, there's this new kid named Snowberry who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the mirror never... Lies. <sighs> oh, uh, mm, uh, the very idea. Show me this snowberry. Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh! Remove her, please. No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet. Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? Huntsmen and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. A 
Oh, my! Oh, dear! I am done for! No, you're not, Snowberry! Curses! It's the Southern Americans! together, it just got a little bit big. And a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play. Something on a smaller scale so you could have fun directing it? You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. Oh, Are you on here, everyone? I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the Little Berry Kings will love. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh... I found a story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. 
Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Very Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berrykin Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Very can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but... But what? Remember, you're in charge. 
What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? <laughs> Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Oh! oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh, what? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? <gasps> Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. Can bloom? Uh, I was worried about her. <laughs> oh, bitter berries. Plum? <laughs> what are you, uh, worried about? Well, uh, she, uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon, don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh, oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did! Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. 
stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Oh, dear. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> The highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World! Yeah! And after you win, we can eat it! You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too! Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo! Oh, boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Hello, Orange. Oh, hi, Buzzly Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Barang, are you in there? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! 
Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! Oh, 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 oh. oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Betty Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! Yay! Yeah!